All right, guys, let's break down this list of what I feel is the five, five, you know what, six, six best tips for fat loss. Um, and again, some of these are just my personal opinion, okay? Um, these are not, quote unquote, the best six that for some people. Um, so let's start here. Number one, number one, my friends, training working out. What I mean by training and working out is a lot of people reach out to me saying, hey, Troy, I really want to start you know, losing uh, belly fat. I want to start toning up. I want to put on some lean muscle. Awesome. Awesome. I will do everything I can. I'll, I'll, I'll give you all my knowledge if I can. If you're willing to listen, I'll give it to you. But they always jump step number one. They always jump that hill and try to go straight for, hey, what kind of supplements do you suggest I take? Where can I get those supplements? They're starting off and just looking for that magic pill. No such thing. No such thing as magic pill. Training working out should be your number one. Get to a gym, get some kind of home gym equipment, or just you know some kind of calisthenic workout, or even walking, jogging, something. Get some kind of training working out regimen going. That should be number one because of the fact that when you're working a lot of your life away, as we all do, sadly, it is sad. We all work so much. We're just tired. We like to come home, relax, spend time with the family kick our feet up, uh, we get into a life of non-physical exertion to where we're, we're settled. You know, we come home, we're, we're settled with watching TV, watching other people live their lives, be successful with their lives. And we all do. I used to do. I was a huge, huge guilty of it. You know, I always come home and my first thing was turn the TV on, watch Family Guy. <laughs> I still watch it occasionally. I love that show. Sorry, off subject. Um, but your first, first thing you should do is incorporate Research, research training, working out, beginner's workout, beginner workout routines, anything. Long story short here, I don't want to ramble on this subject, <laughs> as I constantly do. When I was 15 years old, um, I noticed I was putting on a lot of weight. When I'm, um, you know, I was eating a lot more junk food, I started to see myself get a little fatter in the face. Uh, my stomach wasn't as flat as it used to be. I know my shirt started fitting a lot tighter in the wrong areas. I thought, man, this isn't good. So we went to the pool one day, and a bunch of my buddies were talking about how I was looking chunky. It wasn't anything like, you know, overly weight, but I was overweight. I was getting there. And, uh, you know, I wanted to work out. And I didn't have money for a Y membership because that's where all my buddies were going was the Y. So I thought, okay, you know, 15 years old, what can I do? So I literally went to a buddy's house one day and I looked over the corner. He had, a, he had an easy curl bar with, I believe it was 30 pounds on it. But I was like, man, I could really use that at home. I could use that for different workouts. So I remember he, he wanted 10 bucks or 10 or 20 bucks for it. I cannot remember, but something like that. I went and mowed my grandmother's yard, got the money, to, went over to his house, purchased it, and then that's what I used. I worked out with that. And you wouldn't even believe how quickly I dropped the weight just from implementing working out physical exertion into my lifestyle. Going from that, you know, mediocrity lifestyle of just watching TV, hanging out, drinking pop. Um, that's actually when I quit drinking pop when I was about 15 years old. I haven't touched it really since then. Uh, just bad stuff. Cut the pop out. <laughs> Number two, um, diet. Diet is a huge thing. A lot of people, I can't stress it enough. Diet should not be overcomplicated in any way or shape or form, but it has to be taken serious. So many people are like, well, I eat clean three days a week, and then you know I kind of binge eat on some junk food, or I go out and have pizza with the family. That's perfectly fine. We're not perfect. We, you know, if your goal is to just feel better and look better then honestly, if you're eating clean 60, 40, and you're happy with that, that's perfectly fine because you're still trying, you're still putting effort. But if you want to maximize the most benefit for fat loss, you have to implement a great diet. And when I say great diet, it don't have to be dialed in to, okay, you know, 60 grams of this, I need 50 grams of protein per this meal, 25 grams of fat for this meal. Don't overcomplicate it. Just start cutting out all junk food. You don't need that stuff. It is terrible for you. <laughs> as I sit on duty and challenges and smash, you know, 10 Big Macs. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can get caught in a moment here. But you literally have to take your diet serious. Don't overcomplicate it. Start off small. Cut out junk food. Cut out sugars. Cut out pops. And then start implementing healthier foods. Okay, instead of having this biscuit, I'll have some rice. Instead of having this bowl of sugary cereal, I'll have some oatmeal. I mean, substitute bad for good. Bring it from here, being bad, and the good food here, bring it down to here to where this starts out, the scale starts outweighing itself, okay? You've got to implement that good diet. Healthy foods, they just energize your body, they give your body the proper nutrition, 
um, you know, nutrients and minerals and vitamins that you need throughout the day to function, especially if you're working out and training. So number two, strong, strong diet, stick to it, okay? It's going to pay off, and it is hard. It is hard at times, but you can do it. You gotta have that. You gotta have that mental strength. You have to have it. Number three, number three in my book for ultimate, you know, benefits of fat loss, cardio. A lot of people don't incorporate enough cardio, and I'm not saying go run an hour a day on the treadmill. Run any kind of cardio is better than no cardio. Even in my off seasons or the seasons where I'm not trying to tone up too much, I'm just kind of going with the flow, but I'm still eating clean. I still implement three to five days a week honestly three to five days a week of uh, 20 minutes of cardio and sometimes I'll just do 20 and I'll you know I'll skip a day next day do 20 skip a day next day so I'm still getting that little bit of cardio in there I'm still keeping my heart rate rise you know fat burning mechanism is still engaging now if your ultimate goal is say you're on a 12-week plan you want to lose um, as much fat as possible you know you're, you're not you're 12 weeks out from the beach you know I want to look my best my absolute best how much cardio should I do you have to implement enough cardio, depending on you know what your goal is, how much weight you have to drop, how much fat you have to drop. You want to implement, you want to start off light though. Build your way up, come down with the cardio. A lot of people go hard out the gate with the cardio and then they get burned out on it. Implement it slowly, 10 minutes this day, 15 minutes this day, 20 minutes this day, and then start amping it up to about 30 to 40 minutes a day. Big thing with cardio is not enough people implement it because you know I don't want to run on a treadmill for 20 minutes or that's fine. You don't have to do your cardio at the gym. I do my cardio a lot in my house. Um, I also have you know, a stair stepper here, elliptical. Um, but even if you're going out for a walk with your dog, taking your kids to the park, just going to the, to the you know, local mall and walking around, that is perfect because you're getting out, you know, you're getting fresh air, you're, meeting, you're seeing sightseeing, seeing people, having a good time with the family. It doesn't feel like it's cardio. That's perfect because you're still you're still putting forth that physical exertion, and that's what you want to do. You got to push that, you know, push the envelope. They would say. So that's number three: cardio. Make sure you get enough cardio in for ultimate fat loss. Number four, number four. Now this is a strong one, okay? This is a very strong one. Consistently, be consistent. Be very, very consistent with what you're doing. If you're implementing anything into a regimen, you need to make sure that you're consistent with it. If you're doing, again, if you're doing three to four days good and then you have one bad day and then jump back on three to four days good, why not be consistent and just throw that one bad day out the way, six days good, one day kind of enjoy yourself, enjoy life. Because life is too short to say, well, I got to eat clean seven days a week. I have to stick to this diet. I have to train six days a week. Life's too short sometimes. Sometimes it's nice to step back away from the grind and analyze everything and say, okay, all right, maybe, maybe I'm going a little too hard. Maybe I... Maybe I deserve a break, and you do. You absolutely deserve a break. But if you're not staying on, you know, the plan, you know, every day consistent, your results are going to be diminished a little bit. They're going to fall. They're going to fall short of, you know, they could have been here, but they're going to fall short because, you know, a couple bad days. You don't want that feeling. You don't want to be two, you know, two hours from arriving to the beach, and you're looking at yourself, man, did I give it everything I had? Did I, you know, or a week out from your show, and you're not looking show ready because you just didn't stick to the plan. That's a, that's a bad feeling. You don't want that feeling. And uh, so consistency. Stick with the hardcore, guys. And, you know, the results, will they will come every time. Number five. Number five. On my list, again, this is going to be a different one. Some people may not agree, and that's fine. Again, these are just my opinion, guys. Rest. I feel rest is huge for fat loss, okay? And what I mean by rest is I don't mean sit on the couch, propping your feet up, taking a day off. That's not what I mean by any means. Rest is a big thing that a lot of people struggle with, okay? And if you research it, a lot of people struggle with sleeping, re getting real actual sleep. And what I mean is that deep REM sleep where your body is just so relaxed, REM sleep is where you're actually in you know, the dream world. That's when you're at your ultimate resting stage. But rest is huge for fat loss because for even building lean muscle, fat loss, overall well-being. If your overall well-being is being you know broken down and you're just feeling just exhausted all the time you're not going to give it 100 percent in the gym you're not going to stick to your diet 100 percent you know your cardio is going to suffer because you're just so tired you know so i i am one that struggles with sleep with rest so i personally know what everybody you know i, I know what some people struggle with um it comes down to the fact of <laughs> it differs from person to person is what i'm saying it, you know, you could need four hours, five hours, maybe even eight hours. Some people, it, our bodies are mechanically 
we are designed all differently. In a way, we're the same, but inside, we're all differently. You take this amount of sleep to run, I take this amount. I sleep 45 hours a night and I feel fine. But then again, I also suffer from sleep apnea. So therefore, four or five hours of good sleep to me is beautiful sleep. <laughs> so rest, you gotta make sure you're getting enough rest. Make sure you're sleeping enough. Make sure your body's getting enough time to heal in between workouts, in between cardio. Make sure you're getting enough time to just decompress. If you're constantly tense and you're just constantly trying to you know, chase something, you're going to get wore down, and I'm telling you, your body's going to, it's going to fight back and say, look, look, man, time out, time out. I need a break. I need to rest. So there's nothing wrong with having that hustle, though. There's nothing wrong with going after something and chasing it now and going as fast as you can. If you can keep up with it and your body allows you, by all means, chase it. <laughs> but if you're feeling, you're feeling deflated and just kind of worn down, groggy, beat, don't be afraid to say, okay, it's time to take a break. It's time to have some rest. So... Number five, rest, all right, guys? Number six, this is a big one, okay? And this one kind of just hit me as I was talking about this at the gym to myself. Um, number six, don't rush the process, okay? Fat loss is ultimately uh, something that a lot of people want now. We want to rush it, you know? We want it right now. And that's with anything in life anymore. Today's society, we want it now. We don't want to wait. Do you guys remember the commercials of It's My Money and I Want It Now? <laughs> I know everybody remembers that. Now you're going to be thinking of it. Um, that's, that's, how, that's how our society is now, and there's nothing wrong with that. Most successful people love, have that mindset, and they love it because they know what they want, and they want to get it right now. We don't want to wait. We want it right now. So the process of you know building muscle or fat loss, we, we have that mentality of, well, if I bust my butt as hard as I can for you know two, three weeks, I should see the results. Sometimes the results don't come in that time period. You know, Some people struggle. They'll be dieting hardcore for six weeks, training their butt off. You know, sticking to everything that they have written down, the plan, they're stick to it accordingly, and they're just, they're just stuck. They're not seeing it. But that comes back to resistance. That's the universe pushing against you, and you're pushing back. You gotta keep pushing because eventually you're gonna break that barrier, and it's gonna come through. And then one more, you're gonna wake up and look at yourself and be like, "Man, look at me. This this is paying off. This diet, this this training, this cardio, it's all paying off. I can see it." And you just have to trust the process. Trust it and believe in yourself. And, you know, stick to the plan. Stick to it 110% because it will always pay you back. That's what I love about this lifestyle. Anything with fitness, anything with fitness, if you stick to it and you grind it out, it will give back to you. That's what's the beauty of this. And it's not materialistically giving back. It's giving you back to, you know, mentally. You're just like, man, I did all that and it, it paid back. And I, I'm, you know, I, re I was self-rewarded. I feel amazing, and there's no better feeling. There is no better feeling than when someone noticing your hard work, because you know, every now and then everyone likes a pat on the back. I know we all do. We all do, <laughs> or a round of applause, whichever one you prefer. But all wrapped up, that was just my opinion of six tips. So let's recap real quick. Number one, training, working out, start working out, start something, just do something. Number two, diet. Make sure you stick to a clean, healthy diet. And again, it does not have to be calculated macros, this and that. That's going to get you the ultimate benefit. But if you're just eating better all around and making healthier choices, you're going to see a huge difference in your physique and just you're going to have a huge difference overall well-being. So clean, clean the diet up. Clean it up. Number three, cardio. Cardio is a huge thing. And, you know, just make sure you're incorporating some kind of cardio in your life. If it be walking, um, you know, for five minutes around the block, walking the dog, taking the kids to the park, going to the mall with the wife, friend, shopping. That's a lot of walking because I know when I shop, I walk a lot. So cardio, get it in there, guys. Get it in. Number four, consistency. Be consistent. Stick with it. Stick to the plan. You know, make sure if you have a plan and you write it down, you stick to it. Because in the end, if you're skipping something or you're cheating on that plan, you're ultimately cheating yourself. Don't do that to yourself because it, it is, it's it's a bad feeling when you sit back and think, all I did here was manage to hurt myself, you know, by eating this or skipping this cardio session or skipping the gym for a week. It ultimately comes down to you can't blame anybody but yourself. That self-blame hurts. It's, it, it's a bad thing. Five, rest. Make sure you're getting proper nutrition, proper rest, and you're implementing the right amount of rest. Um, you know, you want to make sure that your body is, you know, healing and it's a machine our bodies are machines we need time we need time downtime you have to have downtime to relax decompress 
mentally and if you're clear you're clear up here you're gonna be clear around here so rest number six don't rush the process stick to the grind stick to the plan don't rush it though be patient it will come your time will come just stick with the plan and I promise it'll come so there you have it there's my six secrets of recipe no, <laughs> no. there's my six my personal six opinions of what you should implement so I hope that these are beneficial to you and I hope that you know if you implement them that they work out for you I really I feel nothing better in the world than seeing other people succeed nothing better um, a lot of people out there want to see people fail not not me man I want everyone to be successful in their own way and ready to be my friend my enemy if you're being successful man kudos to you guys because it, it's a hard world out there it's a hard life so you know if someone's if someone's you know striving to be better and you noticing it and you're noticing their hard work, tell them about it. You know, don't be afraid to reach out. They people love that stuff. They really do. And as I said earlier, some people enjoy a pat on the back or a round of applause. You know, a simple hey man, you're killing the gym. I see you. I see you doing you. That's awesome. Or hey man, you're looking thin or you lost some weight. Just give you know, pay a compliment, guys. Okay, but I have already probably made this video too long already, and I apologize. So. Um, I just wanted to touch on that with you guys and give you guys my personal opinion of the best fat loss tips. So I hope you found it beneficial, but it is 11 o'clock and I am about to make my first meal, break my fast. As I said, I already hit legs today. I'm feeling awesome. Um, then I have to go to work, sadly. But it's considered my Friday. So you guys know what that means. Tomorrow morning is going to be a team dry scoop check-in workout day. So I'm going to wrap this up say goodbye to you guys and then go make my first meal so comment below give me some ideas of other um subjects we can cover or opinions you want to hear me talk about or anything guys anything at all i'm trying to um really balance this into my work life and family life and it's actually going very well i'm being i'm having a real good um, progress with this stuff so uh again thank you for all the comments last night all the messages i truly appreciate all you guys and as i said as I said, we're almost at 500, guys. We're almost at 500 subscribers, which is awesome. In a matter of two weeks, that's awesome. But if we get to 1,000, if we get to 1,000, I got a big surprise for you guys. Um, so help me out. Like and share. I'm not asking for subs, guys. I'm just saying like and share. Maybe other people will find this information helpful. So with that all being said, I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to go eat my first meal. So you guys have a blessed day. Keep grinding. Kill it in the gym. Kill it in anything you're chasing in life kill today all right guys keep pushing keep striving have a good one guys